As promised, today I will show you how I built my decentralized website step by step. But before we dive into that, I just want to share a little bit more about my personal journey. When I started, blockchain was actually quite confusing and technical because there are terms like hashes, notes, gas fees that I understand in theory, but I can't visualize how it works. And that's why I've decided to get hands-on into understanding how the technology behind blockchain infrastructure actually works. So let's get started! Look up ESN domain. Once you're on the ENS website, you will see a search bar. And this is where you get to pick the domain name of your choice. So for this demonstration, I'm going to try Kelly Loves Kick. Let's see if it's available. Okay, it's available! And usually there is a ETH and USD conversion rate, so you will know exactly how much it costs in regular dollars. Click connect. This is where you will link your digital wallet. And yes, you do need a digital wallet in order to buy an ENS domain. For me, I use MetaMask. It's super popular and easy to use. Bring up your domain address. Now you just need a beautiful website. So far, I've tried two sites, html5up.net, and the second one is Theme Forest, which is the one that I'm currently using. So for this demonstration, let's go with html5up.net since it's free. And browse through their templates. Let's see which one I want. So here at Pick40, just click the free download. After download, it will pop up as a zip folder. Uh, you just need to extract that folder. Open up the index.html file with Visual Studio Code. That's the platform uh, I use for coding. Uh, it's super easy, user-friendly, and it's free. Double-click the index.html file. This is your beta site. I'll jump back into Visual Studio Code. These HTML codes directly correspond to the content you see on your template. Remember to click save, refresh your browser, and you should see your updated content. The next following steps I will demonstrate with my own website because I need to pay for gas fees. So using the same method, I will name it Kelly is doing a DNS tutorial. Now that you have your website updated, you can go ahead to Pinata Cloud. Pinata Cloud is a service where you can pin your content to the IPFS network. I will explain what IPFS is in another time. Now that you have logged in, you will see all the files that I've pinned in the past. On the upper right corner, you will see an app button where you can upload your folder. So inside index.html, you will see all my folders and everything is contained here. So you can go ahead and upload your website's folder and you can name it anything. So I will name it Kelly is doing a ENS tutorial. Now that it's updated, copy your hash to your ENS domain. Go to the ENS website. In order for you to launch your app, you need to connect it to your digital wallet for verification in most operations. Connect it to your wallet. Go to record and then other where you will update your content hash. Update your content hash to the hash you have copied over from Pinata. Click save and transact through your wallet. You will see ETH, the gas fee here in real time. Don't panic if your updated website is not reflected with your content hash because it takes 2-5 to five minutes for it to update and refresh. Done! So you can just actually play around with all the features and interfaces of your site. All you have to do is really just spend time to get to know what functions or interfaces that template comes with. Through ENS, it truly really feels like my personal space on the internet, not just something that I'm hosting or uh, renting on a third-party platform. I'll dive deeper into why in my next video. But now, I won't sugarcoat it. Building and updating a decentralized website is time-consuming and more technical than traditional platforms. But the result is you gain a practical understanding of blockchain infrastructures. So for anyone who is curious about the technology behind blockchain, this hands-on experience is invaluable. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time!